Boy, what is this world coming to, man? The world is losing their brains. And I'm not a highly educated man. But man, at least I got half of a brain. The world is losing both halves of their brain. So there's a new talking point, a new operative that's so disgusting. People do anything to get somebody removed, even if it's illegally. Come on, people. Let's think about this. There's an article, and I'm going to read this article to you. It's just dumb. It's a spy suspect Kremlin pushing dozens of fake Trump sex tape to create chaos and confusion media. Spy suspect Kremlin pushing. The first of all, they're saying we got spies who are saying the Kremlin is trying to make Trump look bad. Hold up. You can't have it both ways. Do they want him to be president or not want him to be president? Did they cheat for him or not cheat for him? Make up your freaking mind. These idiot people in journalism, man. Go find a real freaking story. Breaking news, please. Breaking news. Stop making up stuff. This is out of Unian, uh, a newspaper. And it basically says, It is very likely that the Kremlin possesses compromet on the president. See intelligence sources. Here we go with that bull crap. From several countries, more bull crap. In other words, we're about to lie to you. Senior lying agents from several countries have confirmed to John Schindler, who the freak is that or who cares? A security expert and former national security agent analyst. He's a person who got his own issues. Look him up. The unpleasant videos of Trump exist. Yet there's no reason to believe this particular claim without corroborating evidence according to the observer. There's no need to believe any claim without, without some kind of proof. Anybody can say that you raped them. Anybody. I could fall down and slip on my spit and say somebody put some water on the ground. I can literally pour water on the ground, sit down, bust my head and say, hey, I'm a soup. Anybody say anything to really damage you? And in America, you're guilty to proven innocent when we're really supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. People already formed their opinion about you, and then they all, uh, you get enough people doing it, now you're going to change your swearing public opinion about a certain person. Like this one. They're getting ready to make up another dumb. The dossier was fake. You know, come to find out operatives of Hillary Clinton, operatives of Hillary Clinton, work with Russians and spies to get dirt on Donald Trump, which was all made up, and they spent millions of dollars of the people's money to do it. All because she sucked. And she got to make it seem like she don't suck. I was cheated. I don't suck. You suck. And this makes you suck even worse. Like I said, I don't, I'm not taking up for Donald Trump. I'm just being right and fair. All right, so they say these tapes are this, but you know, until people give you some kind of evidence, don't believe that crap. Don't believe this uh, intelligent lying liars are saying and making stuff up and claiming to be intelligent. So it's not, no, you ain't, come on, come on, come on. The very idea that our president has acted out in sexual controversy, sexually controversial and perhaps illegal ways, and that somebody has filmed it. Why would that man do that when he owns a billion dollar corporation? How dumb could you be? Eh, he might be a little dumb. <laughs> but he's not dumb, dumb, that, that dumb. I believe he's playing dumb to play you. And you playing me because I know he's, he's smarter than you think. It's not a good smart, but he's smart. All right, so that somebody has filmed it, it taken very seriously by intelligent experts, in other words, liars, uh, Schindler's wrote for Observer. However, many of the Trump tapes, many of the Trump tapes, so there's some Trump tapes out, dossier wasn't enough. Here we go with this bull crap again. Floating around in spy circles. What the heck is a spy circle? Hey, man, um, 006. Hey, how you doing? I'm 002. 
Hey, how you doing? I'm four four five nine. Spy circles. What they meet up and read the Book of a Month Club? Spy circle. Yo, man, meet me over here at this place. This is a circle of spies. We're gonna get up, get some chicken. Cause we spies love chicken. This stuff frustrates me, man. It frustrates. Can't you see my eyes? It frustrates me. And some of the news that come out, it's so dummy, it's so dumbfounded, it's so stupid that sometimes I don't get on here every day like some of my brothers I hear in, uh, in media, alternative media. Like this. I had to really go over this stupid mess. However, many of Trump takes phone around in spy circles worldwide cannot be verified, Nick. Cannot be verified. While some of them are obviously fake, says the author, who said he has studied the issues for the past couple of years, as many as a dozen intelligence sources worldwide on four continents are in possession of some sort of Trump tape featuring sexual escapade of a controversial nature. In some cases, women involved appear to be underage. Some of these tapes have been shared with Mueller's investigation. And wonder why Mueller haven't used it. That's plain enough to say, I got you. I got you. I got you. Snatch him by the neck and say, mm, I got him. Because they're fake. This stuff is made up. Sure, there's thousands of Donald Trump impersonators. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of them. Sure, there's a lot of girls that look underage. But that don't mean they're underage. So I could go on and on and on. They're trying to make this man guilty so he has to prove his innocence. When in America, you're innocent to proven guilty. Now, I don't, again, I feel like I got to tell y'all, I'm not a Trump fan. I don't take for Trump. But I feel right is right. See, Hillary Clinton had the evidence on her. James Comey just decided not to prosecute her. This is fake mess. Made up crap. And that's why he would again holler fake news. And this is what makes our press, our journalists, our media look like dummies. Instead of getting real dirt, real news, you got to fabricate it. <clears throat> Many as a dozen liar services, uh, I don't even want to call it intelligence source. I want to call it intel intelligence ser services worldwide. Many as a dozen, dozen intelligence service worldwide on four continents are in possession of some sort of Trump tape featuring sexual escapade of a con controversial nature. Sexual escapade of the controversial nature. What do you do? Jump off a, a diving board and, and land it into some woman? Did a backflip? Double flip? Controversial nature. In some cases, the women involved appear, appear, never said it was, appear to be unaged. Some of these tapes have been shared with the Mueller investigation. Again, what does that mean? How, how do they prove Donald Trump? One Western intelligence agency, another lying personal organization with a solid professional representation, reputation, is in a possession of an unpleasant Trump tape that they assess with high confidence is bona fide. Meaning, they lie. <coughs> exactly what appears to be. They obtained the tapes from trusted sources who plausibly had access to it. Over the decade, Trump has traveled widely, including Russia, more than once, and thereby exposed himself to surreptitious filming in numerous countries. All right, so he go to Russia. He's a businessman. He go wherever he want. Why would this man be dumb enough to film when he knows who he is and who his statue? I mean, when he know who is he, who he is, when you know he got a statue and a name and a brand to protect, why would he do something like this? I tell you why you gotta do it, cause you gotta get this freak on. It is obvious to savvy Western counter spies that someone is spreading fake Trump tapes. Not all of them are high quality. To mother the waters, the obvious suspect, of course, is the Kremlin. So now they're making up this stuff. Trump, they got these sex tapes on you, and the Kremlin got it. Here we go again. The Russians have tapes of 
Trump doing crazy stuff. Now, mind you, this article is um, November 16, 2017. So this ain't old. Oh, boy. Since the Russians know all about President Trump's decade of personal antics, including what compromat exists on him, they appear to be pushing dubious and unverifiable tapes, some of them obviously fake to create chaos and confusion. It's working. And in the current climate, it seems doubtful that Trump tapes can be verified sufficiently to have the mainstream journalistic outfit report as detail. After all, with the multiple fakes out there, any bona fide tape will require not just rock solid technical authentication, authentication, but also firming up the exact place and date of the incident, plus confirmation from the girls caught on the camera too. That seems like an insurmountable high bar to clear. This then is yet another successful criminal spy operation. One more grand provocative. Pro this then is yet another successful criminal spy operation. One more grand provocation to mess with the Western minds, although Vladimir Putin is deeply disappointed with President Trump, keeping an increasingly damaged and anti, uh, keeping a increasingly, keeping a increasingly damaged and ineffectual president in the White House suits Moscow foreign policy needs just fine. Shinos believe. All right, bear with me. I just got out of work. I work overnight. And I'm just getting home, and it's twelve o'clock, and I need to be asleep. <laughs> So I'm slurring words, but I'll do my best to edit it. So this guy is going to say it's a shame. We got this terrible president that, that the Kremlin is hooking up. And stop, 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 stop. Stop. She sucked. That's it. She sucked. She sucked. That's why she lost. Suck. Ain't got nothing to do with Russia. Had nothing to do with Russia. Many many times we interfere with Russian election. Election. Who are we to judge? And why are we not talking about elections going on in our own government, with our own party? Donald Brazil just dropped a bombshell and a book on top of it, giving you an open invitation to investigate. This is illegal. I'm quite sure Hillary Clinton broke campaign finances law finance laws. I'm quite sure she did it multiple times. I'm quite sure that they use the people's money to sway things their way and in their favor. <clears throat> There's collusion within the Democratic Party. And you're trying to throw it out with collusion and Russian when you need to be focused on this. Hillary Clinton says the best we need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, we need to get a bottom to the DNC and how crooked they are. And then once we're done with there, we'll go over to the RNC. And see how crooked they are. And then after we have half of them son of a guns in jail, including Debbie Wasserman shows, then we'll work on doing something big for America where all people can participate in it. All right, I'm Robert Brown, Freedom on Fire. Trump, they're trying to come up with more Trump dirties, hot, dirty, hot, dirty, triple X escapades. Telling women to get on this Trump train. Woo! <laughs> All right, I'm Robert Brown, Freedom on Fire. Peace. The Trump sex tapes. Hey, this is your boy Bob TV with Freedom on Fire and Rob Report. I want to thank you for watching the webcast. Make sure you share these um, segments all across your social media network. Um, like and share, subscribe, and maybe I invite a couple other people to do the same thing. Uh, you make the difference. I also want to thank you for those who support this channel through Patreon, uh, whether it's 10, 50 cent to $50 million. I, I, it goes right back into what we do here. Uh, so like the lights that you're looking at right now, that's because of something that you did. So I really appreciate it. I want to thank my man Veggie Matic for the Blue Yeti mic, one of the top microphones out right now. Um, he knew I needed the mic, so he blessed me with it. So all of you guys make the difference into this channel growing and I really want to appreciate you for that. Also, by all means, again, continue to uh, share your comments um, at the bottom of each video. Just don't get so visceral to the people who may disagree with me or may disagree with you. 
this calling out name stuff, um, that's not for this channel. So please try not to call people names, personal names. Now you can call some of the stuff they talk about crap. I say that. But, uh, uh, but just don't attack people personally. Uh, words really hurt when you start attacking people personally because these people really believe these things. And you're not gonna take away their belief by calling them names, so please don't do that on this channel. But nevertheless, I appreciate you guys. We're shooting for 2,000 now, uh, so I need your help. So um, as my past would say, reach one, teach one. I mean, let's reach out. You got the information, make sure you share with other people and try to get them to subscribe to the channel so we can grow and expand. I'm Bob TV, Freedom on Fire, Rob Report, peace.